Hi, I'm Irene Mayer, your host for Florida Matters. Here's a special presentation of our latest Florida story. Florida is a state of limitless possibilities. Who says you have to bundle up and slosh your way through the ice and snow in the dead of winter? But in a state where the can-do attitude has even explored the depths of space, a legendary lifestyle is icing on the cake. New ideas and new ways of doing things are all about people. As a state of innovation, Florida shines. This was a terrific opportunity to take melanoma research to the next level, and there are very, very few places in the world where you can do that. And the combination of resources, people, patient population was, uh, was irresistible. So after 13 years of melanoma research in California, Dr. Jeffrey Weber was drawn to the Moffitt Cancer Center at the University of South Florida. Well, I think Moffitt is an institution that has a lot of innovative clinical trials. We have basic scientists like Esteban Solis and like Jim Ulay and Dmitry Gabrilovich, all of whom have innovative ideas derived in the lab. And my job is to be the guy who sort of recognizes them and tries to translate them into trials. Afternoon. Hi. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Very Good. Well. You look great. Okay, now there are some interesting new things coming along. There is a new trial for those with your kind of tumor. Clinical trials with patients that will ultimately lead to better treatments and cures. If that mutation is present, those patients tend to respond to a pill that strangely enough is used for leukemia. It's called Gleevec, and we have a clinical trial where we're evaluating it in those whose tumors of origin are like yours in the mucous membranes, who have a return of the tumor that can't be removed surgically, we would give them Gleevec. With more than 200 ongoing clinical trials and the latest in cutting edge care, Moffitt is ranked as one of America's best hospitals for the treatment of cancer. All the doctors will tell you you don't watch melanoma. And if I'd have stayed in Jacksonville or Fernandina, May not even be here today, who knows, but uh, I love this place. It's a place backed by 3,800 physicians, scientists, and staff. Innovation is underway behind every door. In the Dalton lab, for example, researchers are studying the levels of different proteins that regulate the DNA repair mechanisms in multiple melanoma cells. This is it just for us? What do you have? After earning his PhD in San Diego, Portuguese native Vasco Oliveira headed to Florida. I came to Moffitt because of the fact that um, Moffitt offers uh, any bi basic research uh, scientist the opportunity of linking your basic findings to the evolution of a particular disease and the way that disease can be treated in the future. So in other words, Moffitt has offered me the possibility of getting into clinical trials, evaluating what works, what doesn't work, and, and basically allowing me to see any results in patients as opposed to testing things in a test tube and, and in cell lines. We're talking about patients for the first time. So, and that's what has become really attractive about Moffitt, the push for personalized medicine, the fact that Moffitt is the only comprehensive cancer center uh, here in Florida. Beginning with tumor samples removed from every patient who comes here, personalized medicine is a new approach to the diagnosis and treatment of all forms of cancer. Moffitt's initiative, called Total Cancer Care, means the right treatment can be matched to the right patient through genetic signatures. Frozen and cataloged in Merrick Willock's tissue bank, Countless thousands of human samples ready for gene profiling. In my opinion, is the total cancer care is the most important the research at the United States and in the world, as a matter of fact. Hey, anything I got, they can have. If it's going to help somebody else, they can have it. Anything they cut off of me, I'm not going to need anymore anyway. And um, they're welcome to it. I think it's a wonderful thing. Total cancer care requires total commitment. 
So more than 20 years ago, a fledgling Moffitt Cancer Center and Research Institute saw the future in information technology. To do this properly, to get the job done, to actually cure cancer, it would rely heavily on the IT environment. So they made the, they made the primary investment of support for their IT infrastructure, of just you know, understanding that the research can't happen unless they have cutting edge tools. That's what makes us different is the fact that our development, our research, everything we look at is backed up by cutting edge IT equipment. Knowing the hard drives in the network operations center may hold the answer. Mark Fleeting is filled with pride. I mean, I'm, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a researcher, I'm none of those people. Um, but every little bit that I do helps cure cancer. And if you ever have a bad day, and I tell my, tell my staff this, if you ever have a bad day, just go to the third floor. Suddenly your day's not that bad after all. To further develop Moffitt's approach to personalized cancer care, new public and private partnerships are being hatched. Keyword, innovation. New ideas in the lab, come to the clinic, old ideas, old drugs with new uses, which then could come to the clinic. So that's what our research center is all about, and that I think is, is, is a typical Moffitt phenomenon. The Moffitt Cancer Center, standing tall on a peninsula where all things seem possible. Don't miss our regular broadcast of Florida Matters, Friday nights at 8 on WUSF-TV. Major funding for Florida Matters comes from the Mosaic Company, a leading producer of fertilizer made from phosphate and natural resource found in Florida. Mosaic, helping America grow.